Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be painting a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Leonardo from start to finish. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to Amira Labs for sending me the TGM7 tabletop gaming resin and also the Army Painter for sending me the Speed Paint Mega Set 2.0. In this tutorial you'll be seeing a new technique that's sweeping our hobby called the slap chop technique. It basically involves priming your miniature black and then using a series of greys all the way up to white dry brushed over the black primed miniature. This is the easiest tutorial I've ever filmed for you to follow guys and I believe that everyone that watches this video can replicate the results very easily. Okay guys as always this is going to be a long video so go get comfortable, grab yourselves a nice hot drink, maybe a cup of coffee or hot chocolate, get settled in and we'll start with the tutorial. Here you can see that I've 3D printed Leonardo using Amira Labs TGM7 resin. I've used a lot of different varieties of resin for my 3D printer, but no resin works as well as TGM7. As you can see here, it has special properties where the toughness of the resin is exceptional, but even more importantly, as you can see here, you can actually bend thin and delicate pieces of a miniature and it won't break. Absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend Amira Labs TGM7 Tabletop Gaming Resin for your 3D printers. Okay, so we're going to start off by dry brushing uniform grey with the Army Painter's large masterclass dry brush. It's important to know that you have to prime your miniature black for this technique, guys. Um, you can use rattle can primers, you can use your airbrush, but it's very important that you prime black. Okay, so now you can see that I've actually been using my hand to actually test how much paint's left on the bristles of the brush. I make sure that almost all paint's removed before actually then dry brushing the miniature and as you can see here I'm just working all the way around the miniature with that uniform grey colour and we're going to get a nice smooth even coverage as we dry brush throughout the miniature. The reason I use my hand to actually um, remove most of the paint from the bristles of the brush is because if you actually use paper towel you'll find that the paint becomes a little bit too dry on the bristles of the brush and you can be left with uh, a chalky bitty texture on the miniature so I prefer to actually use my hand even though it's a, a very very messy look in the end on my hand and here you can see what Leonardo looks like after completely dry brushing all over the miniature using that uniform grey colour. Now we're going to use ash grey which is a lighter grey and we're actually going to use the medium dry brush in the masterclass series of three brushes in the set and we're actually going to start picking out areas that we think the highlights would look even more prominent on the miniature so we're picking out the bands that are around his shell we're picking out the mask the front of his face the wrinkles on the top of his head anywhere you think a highlight would look even more prominent those are the areas that you want to focus more with this color
and here you can see what Leonardo looks like once the ash grey was completely dry brushed over the miniature and the areas that we talked about a moment ago. Now we're going to be using matte white and we're going to be using the small dry brush in the masterclass series from the army painter and again i'm just removing the excess paint off on my hand until i see that most of the paint's been removed i know we're going to be even more careful where we add the highlights so anywhere where you see an area that's really got sharp edges that are standing prominent from the miniature is where we want to focus our efforts on the miniature And here you can see this is the very final stage of the pre-highlighting of the miniature and as you can see when we start painting with the speed paints all of that work that we've done in the pre-highlighting is going to pay off now I'm using the army painters war gamer regiment brush Now I'm painting with the Army Painter's Charming Chatteroos and as you can see I'm placing down the speed paint very thinly on the model but more importantly you'll be able to start seeing that all that pre-highlight works really paying off now as the speed paint works in unison with the slap chop technique or the pre-highlights that we've just done if you will another thing to be noteful about is I'm not letting the paint pull up in any one area too much the reason for this is it's going to ruin that pre highlighting that we did so paint thinly smoothly and evenly And here you can see what Leonardo looks like once we've painted all the flesh areas using that charming chatteris. Now we're going to be painting all the blue areas of Leonardo like his headband and his arm and knee pads using K2 
Caribbean Ocean. And this is what Leonardo looks like with all the areas of Caribbean Ocean applied to the miniature. Now we're going to be painting brownish decay on the rear shell And as you can see, it paints absolutely beautifully. One thing I have to note about these speed paints, guys, is the name actually does exactly what it says on the bottle. You're able to paint so quick. I think this tutorial took me about an hour to film in total, and that includes stopping, starting, and getting the camera set up for each part portion of the video. So it probably would have took me about half an hour if I wasn't filming it for a tutorial. And here's a look what the brownish decay looks like on the shell of Leonardo. Now we're going to be using ochre clay on the front armor panels of Leonardo. And here's what he looks like with all of that armor paneling on the front painted with ochre clay. Now we're going to be using dusk red to paint all the pouches and straps that are wrapped around his waist and chest.
hardened leather is going to be painted onto the sword scabbards i think they're called scabbards i can't i can't remember the, the uh name but anyway we're painting the sword scabbards with hardened leather Ancient honey is going to be painted onto the white strip on the base. There's two signposts on the top of Leonardo's diorama base and we're just going to be using Poppy Red to fill that out. Now we're going to be using Hoplite Gold on the haft of the weapon just to add a little bit of shimmer and a metallic sheen to the miniature i really like these metallics and again it goes back to the uh, story from the army painter these really are one coat and give great coverage Now we're using the silver metallic from the set uh, of the three metallics that are included in the M Mega Set 2.0. And here we can see the finished result. This was super simple to paint guys and I really highly recommend the Speed Paint Mega Set 2.0 and the slap chop technique that wasn't invented by myself and I, I don't know who invented it so I can't give credit but the pre-highlighting stage coupled with Speed Paints 2.0 give superb results to the absolute beginner in a very very fast and speedy manner lastly i want to thank amira labs for sending me the tgm7 resin to print leonardo and also the army painter for sending me the speed paint mega set 2.0 as you can see the results speak for themselves guys i didn't put hardly any effort into painting Leonardo but I think the end result looks really good so uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one